Contents in this session. Description of allergies. History. Signs and symptoms. Skin. Cause. Foods. Latex. Medications. Insect stings. Toxins interacting with proteins. What are allergies? Allergies, also known as allergic diseases, are a number of conditions caused by hypersensitivity of the immune system to typically harmless substances in the environment. These diseases include hay fever, food allergies, atopic dermatitis, allergic asthma, and anaphylaxis. Symptoms may include red eyes, an itchy rash, sneezing, a runny nose, shortness of breath, or swelling. Food intolerances and food poisoning are separate conditions. Common allergens include pollen and certain foods. Metals and other substances may also cause problems. Food, insect stings, and medications are common causes of severe reactions. Their development is due to both genetic and environmental factors. The underlying mechanism involves immunoglobulin E antibodies, IgE, part of the body's immune system, binding to an allergen and then to a receptor on mast cells or basophils where it triggers the release of inflammatory chemicals such as histamine. Diagnosis is typically based on a person's medical history. Further testing of the skin or blood may be useful in certain cases. Positive tests, however, may not mean there is a significant allergy to the substance in question. Early exposure to potential allergens may be protective. Treatments for allergies include the avoidance of known allergens and the use of medications such as steroids and antihistamines. In severe reactions injectable adrenaline, epinephrine, is recommended allergen immunotherapy, which gradually exposes people to larger and larger amounts of allergen, is useful for some types of allergies such as hay fever and reactions to insect bites. Its use in food allergies is unclear. Allergies are common. In the developed world, about 20% of people are affected by allergic rhinitis, about 6% of people have at least one food allergy, and about 20% have atopic dermatitis at some point in time. Depending on the country about 1 to 18% of people have asthma. Anaphylaxis occurs in between 0.05 to 2% of people. Rates of many allergic diseases appear to be increasing the word allergy was first used by Clemens von Perke in 1906. History some symptoms attributable to allergic diseases are mentioned in ancient sources. Particularly, three members of the Roman Julio Claudian dynasty, Augustus, Claudius, and Brytonicus, are suspected to have a family history of atopy. The concept of allergy was originally introduced in 1906 by the Viennese pediatrician Clemens von Perke, after he noticed that patients who had received injections of horse serum or smallpox vaccine usually had quicker more severe reactions to second injections. Perke called this phenomenon allergy from the ancient Greek words allos meaning other and ergon meaning work. All forms of hypersensitivity used to be classified as allergies, and all were thought to be caused by an improper activation of the immune system. Later, it became clear that several different disease mechanisms were implicated with a common link to a disordered activation of the immune system. In 1963, a new classification scheme was designed by Philip Gell and Robin Coombs that described four types of hypersensitivity reactions, known as type 1 to type 4 hypersensitivity. With this new classification, the word allergy, sometimes clarified as a true allergy, was restricted to type 1 hypersensitivities, also called immediate hypersensitivity which are characterized as rapidly developing reactions involving IgE antibodies. Major breakthrough in understanding the mechanisms of allergy was the discovery of the antibody class labeled immunoglobulin, E, IgE. IgE was simultaneously discovered in 1966, 67 by two independent groups. 
Ishai Zaka's team at the Children's Asthma Research Institute and Hospital in Denver, Colorado, and by Gunnar Johansson and Hans Benish in Uppsala, Sweden. Their joint paper was published in April 1969. Signs and Symptoms Many allergens such as dust or pollen are airborne particles. In these cases, symptoms arise in areas in contact with air, such as eyes, nose, and lungs. For instance, allergic rhinitis, also known as hay fever, causes irritation of the nose, sneezing, itching, and redness of the eyes. Inhaled allergens can also lead to increased production of mucus in the lungs, shortness of breath, coughing, and wheezing. Aside from these ambient allergens, allergic reactions can result from foods, insect stings, and reactions to medications like aspirin and antibiotics such as penicillin. Symptoms of food allergy include abdominal pain, bloating, vomiting, diarrhea, itchy skin, and swelling of the skin during hives. Food allergies rarely cause respiratory, asthmatic, reactions, or rhinitis. Insect stings, food, antibiotics, and certain medicines may produce a systemic allergic response that is also called anaphylaxis. Multiple organ systems can be affected, including the digestive system, the respiratory system, and the circulatory system depending on the rate of severity. Anaphylaxis can include skin reactions, bronchoconstriction, swelling, low blood pressure, coma, and death. This type of reaction can be triggered suddenly, or the onset can be delayed. The nature of anaphylaxis is such that the reaction can seem to be subsiding, but may recur throughout a period of time. Skin Substances that come into contact with the skin, such as latex, are also common causes of allergic reactions, known as contact dermatitis or eczema. Skin allergies frequently cause rashes, or swelling and inflammation within the skin, in what is known as a wheel and flare reaction characteristic of hives and angioedema. With insect stings a large local reaction may occur, an area of skin redness greater than 10 cm in size. It can last 1 to 2 days. This reaction may also occur after immunotherapy. Signs and Symptoms Skin Hives on the left chest wall. Notice that they are slightly raised. Hives are a common allergic symptom. Specialty Immunology Symptoms Red eyes, itchy rash, runny nose, shortness of breath, swelling, sneezing. Types Hay fever, food allergies, atopic dermatitis, allergic asthma, anaphylaxis. Causes Genetic and environmental factors Diagnostic method Based on symptoms, skin prick test, blood test, differential diagnosis, food intolerances, food poisoning, prevention, early exposure to potential allergens, treatment, avoiding known allergens, medications, allergen immunotherapy, medication, steroids, antihistamines, epinephrine, mast cell stabilizers, antilocotrians, frequency, Common Affected organ Common signs and symptoms Nose Swelling of the nasal mucosa, allergic rhinitis, runny nose, sneezing Sinuses Allergic sinusitis Eyes Redness and itching of the conjunctiva, allergic conjunctivitis, watery Airways Sneezing, coughing, bronchoconstriction, wheezing and dyspnea Sometimes outright attacks of asthma, in severe cases the airway constricts due to swelling known as laryngeal edema. Ears Feeling of fullness, possibly pain, and impaired hearing due to the lack of eustachian tube drainage. Skin Rashes, such as eczema and hives, urticaria. Gastrointestinal tract Abdominal pain, bloating, vomiting, diarrhea. Cause 
Risk factors for allergy can be placed in two general categories, namely host and environmental factors. Host factors include heredity, sex, race, and age, with heredity being by far the most significant. However, there have been recent increases in the incidence of allergic disorders that cannot be explained by genetic factors alone. Four major environmental candidates are alterations in exposure to infectious diseases during early childhood, environmental pollution, allergen levels, and dietary changes. Food A wide variety of foods can cause allergic reactions, but 90% of allergic responses to foods are caused by cow's milk, soy, eggs, wheat, peanuts, tree nuts, fish, and shellfish. Other food allergies, affecting less than one person per 10,000 population, may be considered rare. The use of hydrolyzed milk baby formula versus standard milk baby formula does not appear to change the risk. The most common food allergy in the U.S. population is a sensitivity to crustacea. Although peanut allergies are notorious for their severity, peanut allergies are not the most common food allergy in adults or children. Severe or life-threatening reactions may be triggered by other allergens, and are more common when combined with asthma. Rates of allergies differ between adults and children. Peanut allergies can sometimes be outgrown by children. Egg allergies affect 1-2% to of children but are outgrown by about two-thirds of children by the age of 5. The sensitivity is usually to proteins in the white, rather than the yolk. Milk protein allergies are most common in children. Approximately 60% of milk protein reactions are immunoglobulin E mediated, with the remaining usually attributable to inflammation of the colon. Some people are unable to tolerate milk from goats or sheep as well as from cows, and many are also unable to tolerate dairy products such as cheese. Roughly 10% of children with a milk allergy will have a reaction to beef. Beef contains small amounts of proteins that are present in greater abundance in cow's milk. Lactose intolerance, a common reaction to milk, is not a form of allergy at all, but rather due to the absence of an enzyme in the digestive tract. Those with tree nut allergies may be allergic to one or to many tree nuts, including pecans, pistachios, pine nuts, and walnuts. Also seeds, including sesame seeds and poppy seeds, contain oils in which protein is present, which may elicit an allergic reaction. Allergens can be transferred from one food to another through genetic engineering. However genetic modification can also remove allergens. Little research has been done on the natural variation of allergen concentrations in unmodified crops. Latex Latex can trigger an IgE-mediated cutaneous, respiratory, and systemic reaction. The prevalence of latex allergy in the general population is believed to be less than 1%. In a hospital study, 1 in 800 surgical patients, 0.125%, reported latex sensitivity, although the sensitivity among healthcare workers is higher, between 7 and 10%. Researchers attribute this higher level to the exposure of healthcare workers to areas with significant airborne latex allergens, such as operating rooms, intensive care units, and dental suites. These latex-rich environments may sensitize healthcare workers who regularly inhale allergenic proteins. The most prevalent response to latex is an allergic contact dermatitis, a delayed hypersensitive reaction appearing as dry, crusted lesions. This reaction usually lasts 48 to 96 hours. Sweating or rubbing the area under the glove aggravates the lesions, possibly leading to ulcerations. Anaphylactic reactions occur most often in sensitive patients who have been exposed to a surgeon's latex gloves during abdominal surgery, but other mucosal exposures, such as dental procedures, can also produce systemic reactions. Latex and banana sensitivity may cross-react. Furthermore, those with latex allergy may also have sensitivities to avocado, kiwi fruit, and chestnut. These people often have perioral itching and local urticaria.
only occasionally have these food-induced allergies induced systemic responses. Researchers suspect that the cross-reactivity of latex with banana, avocado, kiwi fruit, and chestnut occurs because latex proteins are structurally homologous with some other plant proteins. Insect stings Typically, insects which generate allergic responses are either stinging insects, wasps, bees, hornets, and ants, or biting insects, mosquitoes, ticks. Stinging insects inject venom into their victims, whilst biting insects normally introduce anticoagulants. Estimates vary on the percentage of the population that will have an immune system response. Approximately 25% of the population will have a strong allergic response to urushiol. In general, approximately 80% to 90% of adults will develop a rash if they are exposed to 0 0.0050 mg, 7.7 times 10 minus 5 gram, of purified urushiol, but some people are so sensitive that it takes only a molecular trace on the skin to initiate an allergic reaction. Toxins interacting with proteins Another non-food protein reaction, urushiol-induced contact dermatitis, originates after contact with poison ivy, eastern poison oak, western poison oak, or poison shumac. Urushiol, which is not itself a protein, acts as a haptin and chemically reacts with binds to and changes the shape of integral membrane proteins on exposed skin cells. The immune system does not recognize the affected cells as normal parts of the body, causing a T-cell mediated immune response. Of these poisonous plants, Schumach is the most virulent. The resulting dermatological response to the reaction between urushiol and membrane proteins includes redness, swelling, papules, vesicles, blisters, and streaking. <laughs>